We're holding the shaft on the chuck and we are using a small mallet with a hard plastic end to tap gently little by little and flip, try to flatten the shaft back to a straight position. So if you take your time you do it gently and you have placed this all the way and butt it up against the chuck uh, you should be able to do this uh, with no problem. Hopefully uh, you have a tool such as this and you can also do it on a vise. The only thing with the vise is you're going to have to manually rotate and find out where the high points are where the bent is on the shaft. But this works uh, great if you have a lathe you can do that and if you have a lathe you probably uh, already know how to do these things. So this video is just for those uh, that uh, uh, do not have this uh, information uh, at hand and have never done this before. But there's another tool that I, I can use. This is a hard plastic and just tap gently. Because you're manually turning the chuck to find out where the side points are. Once this is uh, done and you want to find out if it's uh, spinning true, you can put your lathe on uh, low uh, speed. Turn it on, and you can get a true indication if that shaft is spinning true or not. Now, depending how you crash and where the bend is on the shaft, if you bend the shaft, typically the, the shafts tend to bend and break. This one didn't break, it just bent slightly. They tend to bend near the uh, where the threading starts, and uh, but this one actually bent where the uh, connection to the end belt is. So I had to uh, tap it a little further inside the, the, the shaft. Don't tap it too far out because you're going to bend the, uh, the shaft uh, too much. So it took me about, uh, I don't know, about 10, 10 taps using the, uh, the plastic mallet and I got it uh, to this point as we can see here. It has a little bit of a wobble at the very end of the tip. I'm not too concerned about that. Now if I grab the shaft at this point here, if I, if I can chuck it here, I can finish that, that, that end and it'll be perfectly straight. But as I said, uh, I'm not too concerned with the, with the end because this is where the propeller is going to sit and as long as this is true with the rest of the shaft, this is where, this is where you're going to spin the propeller to. Now, the reason why I'm using this uh, uh, um, the reason why you're seeing the end bell still attached to, to the shaft, why not just remove this complete shaft and, and uh, chuck it in on the lathe? Well, you, I have difficulty removing the, uh, the, the shaft from the end bell on, on a small press, and I didn't want to risk uh, loosening the magnets if you know if something went wrong there. So I just left it as is. This works, and there's no need to remove the shaft if you do it this way. Okay, so we have uh, fixed the shaft on the uh, motor here uh, using the uh, complete end bell and shaft as we uh, showed a little while in the video. And now we're going to be putting back the, uh, the parts here. So we'll work in uh, reverse order as we took it out. And you can use this section of the video to uh, remove the, uh, the parts remove this this sec complete section from the from the motor now there's a uh, quite a bit of a tension there grab and that's because of the high power magnets that, that these motors use okay so basically put that back on there is a small brass washer that fits right over the end of the shaft and the end of this uh, shaft is uh, grooved for this uh, C-clip. Uh, this is a spring C-clip and it needs to be carefully inserted back into the C-groove. So I'm going to try to do this while filming. Okay, just simply locate that C-ring on the groove. And there are tools to do this, I just don't have that particular tool to do this, this uh, s installation. So I'm just using my hands and I will be using a pliers make sure that 
the washer sitting all the way in there. There we go. Pull the clip and I'm just going to try to press this with a... There we go. That wasn't too bad. Fairly simple if you take your time and you, you're careful with these things. Now, make sure you have a towel underneath your work area. I don't have a towel here in case these parts tend to uh, pop right out as, as you're putting uh, pressure uh, during the installation or during the uh, removal and uh, they tend to fly away. A towel helps if, they if it falls on the table it doesn't bounce off so make sure you have a towel. The motor's back uh, in uh, reusable condition. Nothing wrong with the magnets or the, uh, the wiring. It was just a matter of straightening the shaft. So basically that covers this small uh, tutorial and uh, repair.